children we are going to understand lesson 2 of english the sweet porridge children i hope you would have learned the sweet porridge story and now i shall continue the last of the story for this week okay let us continue the lesson let's we read then she took the pot home to her mother of course her mother was also was very happy to know about the magic pot she said now we can eat food whenever we like so they ate sweet porridge as often as they wanted they also gave porridge to anyone who was hungry they were genius and kind one day anna had gone out of her house for some work her mother was hungry and said to the pot cook little pot cook and eat cook the sweet porridge as useful when she had eaten till she was satisfied she wanted the pot to stop cooking but alas she did not know how to stop the pot from the cooking so it went on cooking and cooking the porridge was overflowing from the pot but it still cooked and cooked the kitchen and the whole house was full the porridge soon overflowed into the next house and then the next gradually the whole street was covered in porridge no one in the village knew how to stop it at last when only a single house was left anna returned she looked in surprise at the street full of porridge hurriedly she said stop little pot and it stopped all were relieved everyone wanted to go back to their homes so they had to eat all the porridge to make their way back home jacob and wilhelm grim i will explain the story she ran to her mother and said mother mother we will no longer be hungry as i have got a magic pot anna said to the pot cook pot cook and the pot cooked porridge her mother was very happy and they both ate porridge one day when anna had gone out her mother felt hungry she said to the pot cook pot cook the pot started cooking porridge after eating till her mother said do not cook pot but the pot went on cooking soon the porridge started spilling on the floor mother called out again wait do not cook any more but the pot did not stop mother ran out of the house and the porridge followed her soon there was porridge everywhere the whole village saw it they ran to eat the porridge when anna came back she saw that the road was full of porridge she ran back as fast as she could she heard her mother shout anna the pot is cooking and it will not stop anna called out stop pot stop and it stopped cooking porridge students over the lesson are you understand the story okay children